Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video we are going to be doing a little mini ColourPop makeup haul. I have been really into ColourPop lately. I've just been really feeling ColourPop products so I took it upon myself to browse their website. I have never really gone on ColourPop. Like I've always heard about them. I've always heard really good things about them but I've never really dived in to any of their products. So today I'm going to show you everything that I got. A few of the things that I got are things that I have been always kind of keeping my eye on and things that I've always really wanted to try and I finally got my hands on them. So if you guys want to see new makeup that I got from ColourPop, then let's go ahead and jump into it. Well, hey guys, it's me popping in really quick to tell you about the sponsor of today's video, which is of course Dossier Perfumes. I have worked with them for so long now and seriously you guys, best thing Ever. For those of you who do not know what Dossier Perfumes is, basically they are an online perfume company that offer high-end inspired fragrances for more than a fair price. Inspired scents range from $29 to $39, which is so much cheaper than paying over $200, sometimes over $300 a bottle of perfume. So when I tell you that you are getting luxury inspired scents for more than a fair price, you definitely are. If you guys have never heard of them and you do not know how they work, let me tell you right now. So once you order a scent that you want to try off of Dossier Perfumes, I will have a link down in the description box if you guys are interested. Receive a cute little box like this. It's just a nice simplistic little box with their name right here. And when you open it up, the first thing that you see right on the front here is Iconic Scents, Designer Quality, no markups and that is the truth honey right inside you get a little card that tells you all about the fragrance that you got and you also get a full 50 milliliter bottle but that is not all you get you also receive a little tiny sample and let me tell you what that sample is for first thing that you do before opening up the big guy right here you take your little sample you try it out if you like it awesome cool finish up the sample and you can go ahead and get started on your full 50 milliliter bottle but if you try the sample and you're like, eh, it's not really what I thought. You can completely return the whole entire box with all of the contents in it. Returns, no questions asked, and you can continue searching on the site to find something that you really like. So the scent that I got this month, and I am so excited about it, so in love with it. When I saw it on their site, I knew right away I had to have it. And that is the Fruity Magnolia scent. And this is inspired by Versace's Bright Crystal perfume. And let me tell you guys, I have smelled the real Versace Bright Crystal. And when I tell you, oh my god, I got the nostalgia, the freaking nostalgia. It literally smells just like Bright Crystal, I kid you not. Here's an up close view of what the packaging looks like of the 50 milliliter bottle. It tells you all of the notes, the top notes, the middle notes, the bottom notes. It has Fruity Magnolia right here. It also tells you on this little card how everything works, the scent that it is inspired by, the concentration. You literally get everything you could ever need in this little box right here and it is so perfect. But if you're like, eh, I want to try something else, just go ahead and pop everything back in this box, return it, and you can get a new scent. But seriously, you guys, when I saw that they had a Bright Crystal by Versace inspired scent on their site, hook, line, sinker, oh my god. And it, I kid you, like, I couldn't be more serious. It smells just like Bright Crystal. Living for it. And it's not even the real thing. Like, this is like $29 to $39. That's so much cheaper than the real thing. Like, don't sleep on Dossier perfumes, you guys. They're so freaking awesome. They have so many other designer-inspired scents, ranging from Tom Ford, Coco Chanel, Versace, Chloe. Anything you can think of, they have on their site. So if you guys are interested which you should be. I will have a link right at the top of the description box. You guys can easily click on it, check it out, and thank you so much to Dossier for sponsoring this video. I love working with you guys, and thank you for making me smell good morning, noon, and night. Seriously, I wear these to bed. No joke. I seriously do. I get out of the shower, I put on my deodorant, and I'm like, oh, can't go to bed until I spray my Dossier. So thank you so much, and now let's get into the ColourPop haul. Woo! What I'm wearing on my eyes is one of the products that I got from ColourPop and I was watching YouTube videos one night. I was just laying in bed just kind of letting YouTube play me some videos and Raw Beauty Kirsty came, I love her videos by the way, she did a video where she tried one of the ColourPop monochromatic palettes and as I was watching that video I was like oh my god I don't have 
any palettes like that. So I went on and I added it to my cart and that is the first thing I'm going to show you guys and that is the ColourPop Orange You Glad palette. Here is what the packaging of this guy looks like. Really, really cute palette. It looks like we have nine different shades in here and I did use it on my eyes today. I did not film a tutorial on this look. I really just kind of wanted to focus, concentrate, and just kind of play around with the colors a little bit. So this is the first thing that I got. It is really, really cute. So it comes in this like cardboard packaging. And when you take it out, here is what the actual palette looks like. It is really, really cute. I love the whole orange theme. I love monochromatic anything. It's just very aesthetically pleasing for me to look at. And when you open it up, here are what the nine shades look like. Really, really pretty colors. Now, I will say, looking at this on the website and then actually getting it in person, the colors aren't as vibrant as they look online. Like I was expecting the oranges to be a little bit more orange, but nonetheless, I am really, really pleased with this. And I use quite a few different colors on my eyes today. As you can see, we have a very orange, fiery, I feel like a Pokemon. The colors that I used on my eyes today is I used this shade right here, which is Sunkissed. I used Mimosa Mommy. I used Tangerine Dreams. I used uh, Rise and Grind. And I also use Zested and Creamsicle in my crease as well. Really, really pretty colors. And I was able to accomplish this kind of like orange look here. So I am really happy with this palette. I do wish the colors were a little bit more vibrant. This was not that expensive. I want to say it was maybe around 12-ish dollars. But nonetheless, I'm really happy I got it. The colors are so much fun in here. And I love the name of it, Orange You Glad. That's just like... That's the first thing I got and you guys will have to let me know what you think of my eye look today, what you think of the colors. My bangs are all sorts of crazy right now. They're kind of in the process of growing out. I haven't decided if I'm going to trim them again yet. That is the first thing I got from ColourPop. I would give this probably three and a half out of five stars. My the one that I'm most curious about is this one right in the middle. It's called Clementine. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it is a very, very thick kind of chunky glitter. Probably aren't eye safe, but I'm really curious to see how that would wear on the eyelids. Now, here in the U.S., when we have colors like that, we aren't allowed to call them eyeshadows, aren't directed as eye safe. So this is a ColourPop pressed powder palette. It's not really an eyeshadow palette because you just kind of have to use these colors like at your own risk. Some of them could probably stain your eyes. Some of them have chunkier glitter. So you really kind of want to be careful when you're using them in the immediate eye area. The next couple of things that I got are some colored eyeliners. I love wearing colored eyeliners. I have one of them on my eyes today. I saw these online and I was like, ooh, those look very very exciting to me. So the first one and the one that I am wearing on my upper lash line today is this one and this is a ColourPop liquid aligner and this is in the shade Chili. This is what the outer packaging of these look like and when you open it up we have this really bright red color. It is so freaking gorgeous, really really pigmented. I will go ahead and watch that on the back of my hand. As you can see, it is just a gorgeous red color and it wore so good on the eyes. I just, I love what it added to this look. It just made it look so fiery and bright and red and I'm just, I'm living for it. The next color that I got, this is in the shade Ducky. I can't remember off the top of my head what color this is. Oh, this one looks to be a pink color. So I'll go ahead and swatch that there. I can see it is a really beautiful baby pink color, really pigmented. I like the way these apply on the eyes. They feel really, really good. The one thing is I do notice you have to shake them quite a bit if you wanna get the pigment that you want, which you know is totally okay with me and that's usually what you have to do with liquid liners anyway. Way. These were also very inexpensive. Everything on ColourPop is pretty inexpensive, which, you know, I live for. We love a deal. We love cheap makeup here on this channel. And then the last color that I got, I only got three of them because these were the colors that just kind of called to me. This one is called Sky High, and this is a blue liquid liner. I love wearing blue liquid eyeliner on my upper lash line. 
it just makes it look so cool so flattering i love it i will swatch that one Oh my gosh, that is so pretty. It's like the perfect blue color. I will definitely be wearing this on my eyes because this is just so incredibly flattering. Oh, and they're so creamy. They're so pigmented. I can literally make such a simple look just pop and I freaking live for that. So those were all of the liquid liners that I got from ColourPop. Super glad I got a chance to try those. And I only got two more products and the next two things that I got are more on the expensive side. But these are things that I have literally had my eye on for so, so, so long now. The first one is the ColourPop The Full Beat Blending Sponge Kit. You guys probably remember a bunch of YouTubers getting this in PR or a lot of people receiving this and trying them. You open it up, it is a total of five different blending sponges. We have velvet, detail, hourglass, complexion, and silicone. And I love beauty blenders. Like nine times out of 10 when I'm applying my foundation, I almost always use a beauty blender. So this first one feels very very good it feels like a furby butt it is this really cool velvet one it is very very soft I, the next one is this detail sponge and as you can see right at the top here kind of has like a pointy edge so i feel like this would be really good for concealer or getting into those really like tight areas like around the eyes or around the nose around the mouth this would be really good for that so you guys will have to excuse like my nails and my hands i was at my sister's new house yesterday yes my sister bought a house and I was over there helping her do a bunch of like projects so my nails are just they have glue and just everything going on so please just you know, excuse that next sponge is the hourglass sponge and it's really cool because on the back of this package it tells you what you can use them for. So apparently the velvet sponge is to create a flawless airbrush look. The detail sponge right here has a precision tip that effortlessly blends makeup under the eyes and fits in every contour of the face. The next one, which is this hourglass one, it's comfortably in your hand and effortlessly, effortlessly blends product all over your face. So this would be a really good foundation sponge. This one is really, really soft. So I feel like when you get this one wet, I feel like this would make a really really nice foundation sponge next one we have here is this guy right here and as you can see it kind of has like a flat surface to it and this one says that it effortlessly blends makeup into skin for a flawless application and I can definitely see that especially like if you want to get up underneath the eyes for concealer or powder or anything like that this would be a really good one and the very last one is this and this one is the most interesting to me but this is the silicone sponge see it looks like a regular beauty blender but right in the middle here it has this sort of silicone looking texture thing going on it's very interesting and this one really really caught my eye because I was like what the hell is this, this one says a unique silicone core that minimizes product absorption and is perfect to use with a full coverage foundation. So I really like the concept behind this. So I'm really glad that I got my hands on these five sponges. I think they're really, really cool. The This product is something that I literally have wanted since I saw a whole bunch of YouTubers talking about it. So really excited for these. And the very last product that I got from ColourPop is again, another product that I have literally had my eyes on for so incredibly long now and it is this guy right here. So I've heard nothing but good things about ColourPop lippy pencils. I heard they were so creamy, so full coverage and when I saw this on their site I immediately added it to my cart and I immediately checked out with it because this right here is a full entire bin thingy of lippy pencils oh my god you guys look at all of these lip liners right here these are so cool so you guys know i am a huge fan of liquid lipsticks i literally have one on right now i wear liquid lipsticks all the time they're one of my favorite things to wear when i do my makeup and i am also a huge lip liner person now i do have a pretty you know okay amount of lip liners but i really wanted to try something new i wanted to have a different array of colors a different array of nudes and when i saw this on ColourPop's website for sale i was 
immediately excited about it because as you can see we have a bunch of different nude colors in here we have some fun colors some purples pinks reds oranges nudes browns anything you can think of mobs we have in here and these are really cool so i did use one of them today color pop lippy pencil and this is in the shade curvy so it is a little you know used obviously because i did use it today and these lippy pencils are so oh my god they are so beautiful they are so creamy they glide on the lips so well they line perfectly they fill in perfectly and then i just put the liquid lip over top of it i think it's really cute that it comes with this kind of snap on cover so you can keep them covered or you can just have it open like this very quickly just to go over some of the prices the orange you glad palette was 14 dollars the full beat sponge set right here that was $22 the must-have stash lippy pencil cup right here was $79 which you know is a little bit more on the expensive side but in my eyes totally worth it and then each of the ColourPop liquid liners these were $8 each so in total I spent about $144 I did use Raw Beauty Christie's ColourPop code to get a discount Always make sure that you are using your favorite YouTubers codes. It really does help them out and you get to save yourself a little bit of money. All of this stuff was bought with my own money. I'm not sponsored. ColourPop has absolutely no idea who I am. That is everything that I got from ColourPop. I just wanted to do a very quick, short and sweet little ColourPop haul. I have not done a makeup haul in so freaking long, but I'm just very, very excited about all of these new products. You guys will have to let me know what product that I showed today was your favorite. Is it the palette? It. is it the sponges is it the lippy pencils is it the liquid liners let me know down below i really hope that you guys enjoyed this color pop makeup haul if you did and you want to see more videos like this make sure you go down and hit that thumbs up button it really does help me out a lot also if you are new to my channel and this is the first video of mine that you are seeing make sure you go down and hit that red subscribe button i do upload every three to four days here but as the rest of you i love you guys so so much and i will see you very soon in my next video. I love you guys. Bye! Mwah.